Okay, this video is to cover proper cleaning of a uh, XI series printer from Zebra Technologies. You can see here, this is a printer that's in for service with us that's uh, definitely got some miles on it. And you can see here a few places that, you know, uh, where labels have been stuck to um, the printer. You can see here along the rewinder plate that's got, uh, you know, adhesive buildup on there. Uh, so that, that should be cleaned off. This roller uh, definitely should be sort of just bright white. Uh, and once you've got it uh, cleaned, it should actually have a tacky feel to it. Uh, it should not feel smooth because if it's smooth, that means the dust and the dirt has sort of impregnated into, you know, the pores of this roller. And you want to have it almost kind of a tacky feel uh, so that when that's nice and clean and white, uh, that can actually move the label material forward the way it needs to without any slippage. If you start getting slippage on this roller, you might see on the leading edge of your label material like a smudge or a kind of a fuzzy looking printed image. And that's because when this you know quickly starts to go forward like that, when it begins a print job, you're getting slippage between the label material and this roller. But the ribbon is not slipping since it's driven a different way. And so when you get a difference in speed between the label movement and the ribbon movement, you're going to get a smudge on the beginning just when it starts to print. So that's a sign that your roller is way dirty and needs to be cleaned. Uh, here you can see we've got some, you know, ribbon material that's, you know, kind of stuck to this um, take-up spindle. Um, that's probably not causing any harm, but eventually you get enough of that on there and you can't get the waste material off very easily when you get um, rolled up, you know, used ribbon. You, you want to keep this surface, you know, nice and clean so that you know the material can slide off of there easily when you get a whole roll of ribbon built up on there. Um, uh, kind of a key thing to kind of look at here too is the buildup of adhesive on this plate here. Uh, you can kind of see and also on that side right in there there's basically you know remnants here of basically when previous labels have been stuck and then removed from that area. Uh, what that causes is if you get adhesive buildup on, on this area, what you're going to get is more labels peeling off and sticking. So it kind of causes more problems with jamming if you don't keep this area as clean as possible. Keep this roller clean, you know, adhesive buildup on there is, you know, all reasons, things that can cause jamming in the printer, which you don't want to get. So, um, and then lastly, you can see here some things with just some of the, the dust that can build up from you know, the use of, you know, this this printer gets a lot of heavy duty use, uh, so your printer may not look this uh, dusty, but any of that dust material, um, it, it gets on top of the label as it goes into the printer, and as it passes through the printer, you're going to get that a grinding effect along the surface of the printhead in this area that can cause premature printhead failure. So you want to you want to clean out that dust you know, keep this cover closed whenever you can on the Zebra printer to keep dust, out, you know, environmental dust out of the machine. But if you're doing high volume, you know, you should definitely be cleaning a lot of these surfaces on a regular basis to keep that dust down. Um, hope this helps uh, with your tips on cleaning a Zebra XI series printer.